Okay, I'm just making this video on this Pico projector I just got that appears to have died on me. Well, sort of. Um, yeah, got the battery and everything in properly. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. Just press the button. Power light comes on. Flashes. Green laser stabilizers. Yeah, it probably looks a bit pink on that video, but it's not that bad, really. Okay, see so yeah, how that works. And then if I get, I have here just a, a normal set top box, which has a composite output that I've got going into the Pico projector adapter. So I'll turn this on first. Yeah. And plug this into here. Right, so it's plugged in and we get the set top boxes uh, signal but then what you just saw there is not is what I'm not exactly sure on um, seems to happen when you move it around but it Yeah, the brightness seems to be flickering and stuff as well. Yeah, at least that actually works. So, unplug that. And it'll go back to the splash screen. Okay. So now, got the iPod Touch 2G. Turn it on. Um, yep. Connect its cable. That. Then plug that into the Pico projector. Now, that's all it does. It doesn't, it flashes weird colors and it just stops. And then if you look inside there, this has lots of blue and red flickery patterns. And then at the top, there's actually a white line. So if I turn this torch off, I'll try and show it here. don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Very faint white line being projected. But that's all it does, so even when I go through and find a video, put something on, nothing comes out. Just keeps doing that. Disconnect the iPod. Comes up with a green screen. And then it goes back to the splash screen. And with the VGA dock, all it does is sits on the blue screen saying video not supported. Um, unknown at 99 hertz or something like that. And it just sits there and I won't do anything else. Um, occasionally you might get some blue lines, but that's about it. It doesn't actually project anything. So, yeah.